Hey everybody, happy Sunday. It's about, um, I don't know, one o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Just got back from the grocery store. Hopefully you have already gone out because it is not um, friendly at Meyer today. A little busy, obviously, Super Bowl. Big day, right, big day. So I wanted to follow up a little bit if you've not read my most recent uh, blog post about why wanting to be the very best in the world really matters a lot. Yes, that was the title of it or something like that. Um, I wanted to follow up a little bit on that and talk a little bit more about that in person to you. And if you haven't read it, go read it. It's called Why Wanting to Be the Best in the World Matters a Lot. And I wanted to follow up on, on that a little bit more and, and talk a little bit about what that means to me um, additional thoughts on that so I find that very important you know like I want to be I, I truly do I truly want to be the best in the world and that's not conceit that's not wanting glory that's not wanting to outdo somebody um, although if you do outdo somebody in the process of wanting to be and striving to be and working to be the very best that you can be at what you do, at what you're passionate about, then so be it. Then so be it. I remember getting a call when I was a middle school principal and we had done something awesome. I don't remember what it was because there were, you know, a few things that we had done over the course of the years. We instituted student-led conferences in the district where that had never been done before. We started a, a program called Second Saturday where we gathered our oldest kids in the building and they became mentors to elementary kids, kind of like a big brother, big sister program. And I remember getting a call from one of the principals who had been in the district for a long time and he said to me, why are you making us look bad? You know, slow down. You're gonna make us have to do that stuff. And I was floored. I was literally like, I, I don't know what to say to you. It was on the phone, it was a phone call. I was I'm at my desk one afternoon and I said, I gotta go, I, I, I'll talk to you later about it. And, and I hung up and we, and we ended the phone conversation right there. And I eventually talked to him in, person about it but I, I was so astonished that he couldn't understand and in his phrase you're going to make us have to do this stuff like our superintendent is gonna come to us and say hey why aren't you doing that and my response is well, well yeah why aren't you doing that why aren't you doing that because when you're the best in the world at something when you strive to be the best in the world at something whether you make it or not whether you make it or not, you're better for somebody else. Only, the only people that benefit from that are the recipients, are the people on the other end, whether they're teachers if you're the principal or, or students if you're the principal or the teacher. I mean, other people are the recipients of your greatness, right? Like, that's why we do this. That's why we want to get to be the best at something. It's for other people. It's not to take the glory. It's not to take the credit. It's not to show off. It's for other people. Other people benefit from that. When you show up every day and give them the best that you have in your efforts to be the best in the world at something. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Go Rams.